and it was like any day it was like pretty close and i was like shit do i go you know do i go and she's like just go just go i'm dave Olvera from fresno california i've been getting tattooed for about 13 years I got my first tattoo. I started kind of late. I think I was like, I was about 20. And the way that happened, it was kind of crazy. I was going through like a really bad breakup. And so I was just rolling down the street, right? And I saw this tattoo shop, it was at nighttime. I went in there and I just picked some flash off the wall and got like a little dragon right here, man. And I was hella proud of it too. Like I'd roll up my sleeve and just show everybody. I'd drive on the opposite side. Every, any chance I got to show that little tattoo, I, I would show everybody and it was horrible. But. You know what, man, I started off, I never knew I was gonna be a tattoo collector. I wasn't too big on, on getting tattooed, man. I, to be honest, I was, I was afraid of the pain. My good buddy, Stevie, he had tattoos all over his body, man, and, and they looked cool, but I was just like, man, I'm good. There was one time he got his son's name on his chest and he almost fainted, and I was like, hell no, man, I'm good. But just after that first tattoo I got, uh, it jump-started my, my little collection career. The only bad thing is I was collecting bad tattoos. You know, and so now I'm just lasering them off. I just remember going to conventions and like seeing people like Compton David and just like, dang, like Chuko, OG Chuko, and just thinking like, man, those guys know what's up, man, they, they're, they're doing it. And just thinking like, man, I wanna, I wanna be there one day. And I was at a, a convention and uh, in the booth was a guy named John Piles. I called him Terminator John. Uh, that was because he had a leg sleeve and it was a Terminator stuff and Chronicles of Narnia just sitting there just rapping with the man he, he just it was just like man this dude like he's with the man he just he has some good work and he was just so intelligent about the art and just the collection and right there i knew i was like man i want to do the same thing and so i think that 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 right there was like a turning point where i was like man i need to get some good work and just continue like researching and getting good work and here i am today Well, a lot of my tattoos are meaningful. I have like portraits of my family and whatnot. Like the, I'd say the most meaningful tattoo is the portrait of my mom. That's actually the first black and gray piece I've got from my childhood buddy, Kuan Luke. I mean, my mom's my world. I love that lady to death. She wasn't opposed to me getting tattoos. She didn't really like it. But once she saw it, she was just like, no, mijo, Ooh, like hugging, hugging on me. I was like, damn, mom, back up. But uh, yeah, it was all good. Yeah, definitely my life has changed, man. Like back in the day, I was so clean and, you know, still had these ears on me, but uh, people see me now, they're just like, dang, dang, is that you? And, and it's crazy, I get get attention where I go. Some bad, some good, but I mean, either either way, I'm, I'm good with it, you know what I mean? People will snicker or say whatever. Some people are just like, dang, oh, that's beautiful work. And I'm always proud to show them, you know, show them what I got, because this is, you know, my little investment. This is my, my collection and I'm proud of, of my pieces, you know, so it, it has changed and I'd say for the better. The hardest part of getting tattooed is probably the pain. There's been times where I've sat for, you know, five, six hours just in total pain and have to rush back home to wherever I'm at, three, four hours away, you know, wake up early, take my kids to school or do whatever. And it, it's just, the healing process too, man. You gotta be very careful. You know, I baby my tattoos, you know, they're my they're my newborn babies, you know, and I make sure that they heal right because I mean that artist just put his, you know, heart and soul into putting a good piece on me, man. I wanna take care of that. My most memorable moment, it was a while back, I was getting my Beetlejuice tattoo. Cecil hit me up and he had told me, you know, he had a spot, I was gonna jump on it. But at the time, I, my girl was pregnant, you know, and, and it was like any day, it was like pretty close. And I was like, 
shit, do I go? You know, do I go? And she's like, just go, just go. I drove down to, to LA. I was getting tattooed and it was crazy because that was my first convention. And there was like a heater vent right above us, dude. And I'm sweating like a orange church in there, man. I'm just dripping and he's hitting my arm. And then next thing you know, the travel channel is like videotaping us for like, it was like extreme conventions or whatnot. But it was my first win. Man, I was just beat get off stage from from winning my award or whatnot and just jam home but it was just a good feeling man it was a good feeling putting all that work in and just winning that award i know some people they, I mean, they, they say that awards don't mean nothing but it means something to me man it's just like putting all that hard work in but i rushed home and luckily you know the baby wasn't born so. <laughs> I'd say getting tattooed is both. I mean, I invested a lot of money, you know what I mean? And this, tattoos are expensive, and that was my choice. I mean, as long as my bills are paid, <laughs> you know what I mean? My kids are eating, I'll save, man, I'll save and save and, and just look at my spots and know what I want there. And the way I look at it is some people buy art and they hang it in their room, or their, their living rooms or offices or whatever. I put it on my body. So it's with me all the time. I'm just like a walk-in gallery, I guess you could say. So it's my little investment. and my little original art pieces I love. Conventions are cool to get tattooed at just because the people watch. There's a lot of things going on so it takes your, your mind off the pain. Now, the shop is always good, you know. A lot of my black and gray was done at Ink Slingers um, by Fernie Andrade, my boy. It was just, it's just a good time. You know, you're, you're, you're just chilling and you're, you're bullshitting, and you're talking, you're joking, you know what I mean? So that's another way to, to let the pain hit the backseat or whatnot. It was just like, either way is cool with me. I mean, if I'm getting tattooed by a good artist, I mean, you could tattoo me in your bathroom, you know, wearing chanclas or whatever, I don't care. I'm good. I've been tattooed by Carlos Torres, Ivano, Josh Duffy, Fernie Andrade, Vito, Cecil Porter, uh, Roman Abrego, Carlos Rojas, Fred Flores, Rob Miranda, Kuhan Luke, Blacaso, Robert Foe, Alan Padilla, Spider, High Tone, Ollie Anger from Canada, Brian Gonzalez, Mike Damasi, my good buddy Jose Fernandez at Black Ink in Fresno. I think that's it. I'm David Olvera. I'm from Fresno, California. Thanks for checking out my collection. <laughs> I know. Oh, I hope I didn't forget anybody.